everyone. This is Rob, and we're reporting the news live from Cannes. I'm here with the amazing Peter Wallace from Gum Gum. Hey, Peter. Great hey, to see you. Nice to see you, too. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks Thank for doing this. Thank you very much. And thank you for that wonderful introduction. <laughs> it was very grand. <laughs> well, you know, we're, we know, we know who we're with. Uh, <laughs> It's good to be good to be with you. Um, you know, before we get into it a little bit, you know, we run the brand safety series, as most people know, and as we look to expand the definition of what is brand safety, we feel like it's like the news because whatever happens in the industry, how timely it happens, whether it's an issue of data protection or an issue of an ad fraud attack or something like that, is essentially current events. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's? Do you think we're thinking about it the right way? Does that I make think, sense to you? I think you're absolutely thinking about it the right way. I think there is a lot of education to be done in market for, you know, for your planners, for your advertisers to think of it in that sort of breadth. Um, my take today is that everybody's concerned about those individual areas, but nobody's really packaging it up into one viewpoint that they can consider and, and tackle in the industry. Can. Sure. And what is the most interesting, surprising thing you've seen since you've been here? I mean, I have literally landed in Cannes about three <laughs> hours ago. Um, I mean, the least surprising, I know you didn't ask this, was the amount of media and ad tech folk that were on the plane out here. It was literally like being in an ad tech convention on the uh, wonderful EasyJet <laughs> flight over. Um, the most surprising, um, sort of as, I, as I'm coming to, into this, I think is the transition that is going on in Cannes from previous years. And actually, I'm expecting and sort of see already that can has evolved from what it used to be. Yeah. Um, my take being that brands, advertisers, ad tech no longer necessarily wants that garish outlook on the world. That, and sort of used to be about who had the biggest yacht, <laughs> who's going to throw the biggest party, who's got the best celebrity coming. Um, actually, we're expecting a lot more around diversity and inclusion, a lot more about sustainability. Um, and you know, I was talking to the guys before the trip and we were sort of talking about uh, partying with purpose. Um, so, of course, there's still going to be elements of the throwback to the old days. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I think the evolution of can is happening and it will continue over years. Um, but it's returned. It's amazing. Great to be back. And, uh, yeah, can't wait to see how it goes. Partying with purpose, I like that, uh, and 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 we're actually going to be doing a, a lot on on DE and I this week as well. What does what does partying with purpose mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course, there is the side where you know it is the piece where we are there. We're talking about the issues that really matter. I think that for an industry, like, let's be honest, we're not saving lives <laughs> in many ways, but you know we can be as an industry doing things better to improve the world to. Make sure that we're operating in more efficient, more effective, more friendly ways to the world. And you know, I think that there has been a seismic shift to try and tackle that as an industry. And I'm really excited by it. Nice. Um, and what what is what is Gum Gum and, and your team have going on this week? Like, why are you here? What are you trying to accomplish in the next five, four or five days? So we've just gone through a huge expansion across Amir um, through acquisition. Um, so you know, we have a lot more presence across Europe, which Know, is changing the outlook for us as a business hugely. Um, so purpose for us being here is it, the other element of that parting with purpose. It's to meet the right people, it's to have conversations, it's to really drive our business forward. Um, and we hope to be educating people a lot about what we do as a business as well and sort of come away with, yes, good feelings that we've done the sort of sustainability element and the DE&I sort of elements, but also feeling that we've really pushed our business forward and gained some new relationships that really matter. Got it. Got it. So, so on to the news. Um, you know, we want. You know, the purpose of this for us is to get some 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 execs like yourselves and get some perspective on what's happening today, what, yeah. right out of the headlines. And so, what are marketers thinking about um, data protection regulation that literally is happening in the next four months in the states? But is is and you're starting to see more and more cases starting to build on GDPR here in in Europe. What are marketers thinking about when it comes to data protection regulation right now? So data protection, it's, it's just such a huge area, right? Um, and I think that we have a very, particularly in Europe, we have a very serious view on it. But I think there's still a lot of confusion. There's still a lot of ambiguity in terms of the ways that advertisers feel that they need to operate towards data protection. Mm -hmm. um, so I think what we're going to be seeing over the next sort of 6, 12 months and beyond is going to be around you know how can advertisers align themselves with what the, what the requirements are but then as they move into a cookieless world as they start operating in a very very different world as they would have been even 12 months ago 
You know, what does that mean for their, their approach in market? What does that mean for how they're advertising? What does it mean in terms of how they're using data? Um, there are still a lot of unanswered questions. I think it's very central to strategy, mm -hmm. but I think there's still a lot of unknowns. But, but the truth is consumers don't really care, right? The conversations that you know, tech companies have amongst themselves about cookies and all this stuff, a consumer wants their data protected, right? Isn't that the? 100% the consumer wants their data protected. I'm not sure I necessarily agree that they don't care. I think that there's been a hell of a lot of education for the general consumer over the last two years. And actually now there is a greater understanding of what a cookie is. There is a greater understanding of how advertising is using your data. Mm -hmm. And I think to that point that you know, consumers are researching more and they do care more about what's going on. Do they want to get under the hood of the technology? Of course not. But they are interested. And there's a lot more awareness and understanding of data protection than there ever was a few years ago. Yeah.